All right, what's up, YouTube? Mind Games here. It's Jasper with another review. Uh, today we're doing the Bodyguards skin um, for the Apple iPhone 3G. Um, it's a clear film that covers the body of the, a device, providing scratch protection and out, from outside elements. Uh, it's designed to custom fit each particular device, and they're same made from the same material used to protect the front of cars from. Uh, the element so it's tough and durable and your device is protected um, that's what it says back here but yeah so let's see I'll show you what comes with the pack um, first you get the application solution pretty good they give you a nice big bottle I didn't actually use most of it actually um, I use about half um, they give you a squeegee, so you have the squeegee there. It's plastic, and you also get uh, two fronts and two backs in here. If I can get this out, <laughs> sorry, you get two backs and two fronts. So you can see the design of the back, and then the design of the front. Now I used both backs because the first time I messed up applying it so I had to break the other one out. I was hoping I didn't have to do that but you know gotta get it perfect for you guys. So that's what's good about that. You have two chances to do it and you also have lifetime replacements um, and return purchase discounts so you know if you ever screw up more than twice go back to them tell them then they'll replace you lifetime replacement. Okay, so here it is. Uh, looks like there's nothing on my phone, but there is. Um, I'll show you. You can see there, it does kind of bunch up. So you know there's something there. But yeah, so we'll go over the specs. Uh, you can see the sides. The buttons are exposed still, um, and so is your volume. Now these aren't covered by the actual bodyguards. Um, it wraps around the body, or it's cut out so it wraps it covers everything around it but not the buttons itself so you don't have the coverage there but that's pretty good so you can easily get to your your uh, buttons and stuff uh, the top fully exposed um, it does wrap around again here but it keeps like right the mi in the middle here exposed so you can still get to everything and if you ever need to change your sim card you know you can still pop it out and your headphone jack so you can still plug your music in or your um, headset uh... the bottom you can see it's still exposed it does still cover around here so you can port with it you can still hear everything everything's still fully functional just like you have nothing on it uh... the back again the camera hole nicely cut out you have your apple logo exposed well not exposed but like you can see your apple logo but it is covered by the f by the film so that's pretty cool if you ever want you know to show off your Apple logo um, but yeah that's the case everything exposed looks like there's nothing on it um, on the front you can see I have it on the front nicely aligned uh, the chrome is fully covered by the uh, it's actually one whole skin that wraps around sort of like that that wraps around your phone so it cover it's one skin that covers the whole back and sides and then you have a separate skin for your screen now the only part of the chrome that isn't covered is this lip right here the actual mm -hmm. front of the chrome actually yeah like right here the part that you see when you see look at it this way that part is the only part that isn't covered by the uh... by the film and the corner is here um, the corners, if you can see that, it has that, it curves around here, and then it breaks off, and then it wraps around the corners here. So it does leave a little bit of your phone exposed to the elements, which kind of sucks because dust can get trapped in there. Um, so you're going to have to wipe out those areas a lot. But that's the only, pretty much the only areas that will get dusty or catch anything unless you have like, like um these what are these called 
these sort of imperfections when applying, uh, these will cut your dust too out of your pocket. Um, that's what I didn't like about it. Everything else put on, was put on perfectly except for this corner, but that's just my own fault. Uh, this corner didn't want to stay down properly. Um, also, I have some bubbles underneath, which kind of sucks. But you know, it's because I only smoothed like smoothed out the uh, the back part, and then I just sort of massaged it quickly on these sides. Um, but yeah, so it does get on easy. It's one of the easiest applications um, out there that I've experienced so far. Uh, pretty easy to get on. Um, it does feel nice in the hand. Feels like a naked, not a naked phone, but it feels like, like a naked phone. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like it, you know, there's no. It doesn't feel like anything's on it, but you know there's something on it because it does give a little bit of grip. So you do have that grip there, unlike a naked phone where it's kind of slippery. Um, you have that grip there, so it feels nice in the hand. Uh, you do have a lay on back lay on the table design. This is designed to scratch proof your phone, so. You know, you can just toss it onto the table and your back, you can see, I'm not scared of that. Uh, your back is fully, you know, still fine, right? Uh, now, the front lay on the table design isn't really there. There is no lip or anything, um, and it's still exposed on this chrome over here, so you may not be able to lay on the table there unless it's just well, actually you can, but it's just your screen, the screen that's going to be scratched up. Because it does lift at a little bit there, um, so that it's not perfectly aligned with this ledge here. Um, so you do have, sorry, you do have that little bit of lay on the table design at the front, if you want to put it that way, if you want to put it that way. Perfectly fine. This is scratch proof. You can see I'm scratching it. Um, actually, they show here key can't penetrate it um, unless you put enough force that forces it to but your keys you know you can throw this in with anything in your pockets or ladies with your purse and you're fully covered right you won't get any scratches um, there is no drop protection though because there's really no padding um, so you do will get some like dents maybe if you drop your phone um, but it'll protect it from the scratches from the fall. So like say you drop it, you get a dent, but it slides, you know, you won't get the scratches. Or if you like, if you're running and it falls out of your pocket slides, you won't get any scratches on your phone. It'll show up um, basically only on this film. But you know, if, you, uh, if ever it gets too worn out or whatever, you have that second one to, to replace it with. So you do have that. Um, in your pocket, it doesn't grip to your pocket or anything. It slides out easily. Um, with cases, actually, uh, it does add a little bit of bulk. Like, not like bulk, bulk, but it does add a little bit, so it won't fit with many plastic cases. Um, I've tried to put plastic cases over this, and they just stuck. Um, I have a spec see-through. I think that's what it's called. Uh, I slid the top on perfectly, but the bottom is a bit smaller and it got stuck, so I had to kind of rip it off, and that's why you can totally see these bubbles here. Um, I had to kind of like, like, lift it off somehow. It took a while, it took me like an hour to get it off. But I was also watching TV, so, <laughs> but yeah. So it does work with any silicone case because they form fit, they like fit to whatever is your phone is, um, but, yeah, so it's easy to get on, scratch protection, if you want, if you like the naked look, get one of these, um, protect you from scratches, but, uh, yeah, not bad for the price, um, I think it's 25 bucks or something online, check them out, post the link to the side over there, but yeah, so, not that bad of a, of a skin, actually, I like it, uh, check them out, link will be on the side, um, but yeah, Peace out, YouTube. Sorry, guys, one more thing. Uh, make sure you let your phone dry and turn it off when you're putting this on. You know, you don't want any damage to your phone. So make sure you turn off your phone and then let it dry at least overnight. It says 24 hours, but overnight's good. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, peace out.